very exciting new role. Can you explain for the people at home what it is exactly? Um, so I'm lead professional development phase coach. So um, obviously all the young lads from probably 16 to 19 years of age that are going to be in the building full time. Um, trying to nurture and, um, and give them the best possible opportunity to make professional careers for themselves, hopefully at Oxford United. But um, obviously, that, so giving them that grounding and, and that sort of that experience within a, within a football club to go and make a, a professional career. And uh, as I said, hopefully, that is at Oxford United and they can go and show the Oxford United fans what, what the academy is up to. So, the, the 18s, as it, as it was, it has had a fantastic couple of, well they've won the league two out of the last three years so you'll be working with Chris Hackett and I know you want to say the good work that Leon's been doing as well so how, yeah. does, it, how does it all fit together? Uh, it, it works out really well obviously I spoke to Hacks over the summer um, and he's he's bang on board wants to work with me which is which is fantastic I'll, I'll be leaning on his experience of what he's done over the last couple of years because as you said it's been it's been a brilliant couple of years for, for the football club at academy level you know winning the league two out of three seasons um, having a good FA Cup FA Youth Cup run you know and uh, you look at the players like obviously Tyler Goodrum uh, Leon Chambers Perillion playing in the first team and that's what we're here for we're to prepare these young men to, to play professional football at Oxford United and it's, it's nice when you the, the fruits of your labour come to fruition when the, the, the boys are making their debuts and, and especially captain as well you look at Tyler Goodrum captain at Crawley away it, it's, it's a fantastic and that's what gives you that motivation to go and, and, and produce the goods for these players on a daily basis and, and they can go and, uh, go and make their debuts and, and, and make their appearances in the first team It's slightly different this year isn't it? because I've always referred to it for, since you were in the youth team at, at Orient and stuff yeah. that it was under 18s football it's slightly different this year yeah I think it probably works as well on ODFA changing it to, to 19s and 17s which is um, I think it gives the, the lads the under 16s boys that are still at school and still within the academy it gives them the opportunity to play on a Saturday morning with, with a, an older age group and go and test themselves and I think the, the first year pros I think it gives them the opportunity to, to continue their development by playing every Saturday morning um, and especially the, the, the real lively ones, getting them out on loan as well. You know, I think that's a massive part of, of, uh, of their development as, as, young, as young footballers is getting out on loan, playing men's football for three points on a Saturday afternoon. And, yeah. um, so I, I think that it's a great progression for them that they can play sort of, at sort of 18, 19 years of age now and still get that development on the, on the pitch on a Saturday. Some of those kids, the, un kids, the scholars, the under-17s, you've been working with them already, yeah. haven't you? So it's a natural progression for them. Yeah, it's perfect. I think, obviously, the, the group that I'll be taking next year, I think I've worked with every single one of them over the last three years of being at the club. Um, obviously, I've been in on a, on a part-time basis, um, obviously, all day and day release on a Tuesday, which has been brilliant for me, getting that sort of full-time feeling of being around a football club again. But obviously, with, with my other job that I was doing, it was just, it was perfect. It worked really well for me, coaching them of an evening and, and Saturday mornings. But now... Back in the back in the real world of full time football, which is fantastic, I'm I'm, I'm buzzing for it and, and can't wait to get in and around it and uh, and as I said, just be the, the, the nitty gritty of football, you know, just being in around around footballers and the, and the banter and that sort of stuff that goes around the changing rooms and, uh, and and being on a training pitch every day. It's it's what I, it's what I thrive for and what I've been, what worked hard for over the last few years. You're a nightmare because the last two years you've been every time I see you, like, oh, what's going on over there? Because you love this environment. You, you, it was clear that you were missing this for the last year, two years, whatever. Yeah, no, that, obviously that's a personal circumstances was why I dropped out of full-time football you know but now obviously my kids are a little bit older now I can now come back into it it's, it, it's probably perfect timing for me I've done my apprenticeship sort of working on, on a part-time basis around the club um, I don't think there's too many academies that are as good as what Oxford United is it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a great club to be around um, and, and I'm just privileged to be here and uh, and hopefully pass on some of my experiences to, to the young lads and uh, hopefully there'll be a, a few more success stories in the future. You have got a massive problem here though. There is a staff game on a Friday, first team against the academy. You, you're oh, going to strengthen that some, some of the first team men are going to get, get <laughs> stabbed down their ankles, mate. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty out there. Is but it not just a case of just give the ball to Hackett and let him run? Well, they said they give the ball to Hackett, he can go and do that, but I'll tidy it up at the other end. You know, we keep him clean sheets for fun and Hex can tear him around when, when he's in possession of the ball. But yeah, it's, I, I'm looking forward to the staff games. You know, it's, it's fantastic to be in and around that. And uh, the, the gaffer and everybody here at the football club has been has been really fant fantastic over the over the few years I've been here. And can't wait to get my teeth into it.